Well, hello and welcome back to another episode of Transmission Parts ID with Victor Sang. This week we are going to cover the forward sprag in the 4L60 series, which includes the TH700, 700R4, 4L60, 4L60E, 4L65E, and the 4L70E. Starting with the earliest sprag, which is this 26 element. And in 1986, they went to a 28 element. 1995, they went to this 29 element. The element looks like this. All the elements look like this. But you count the elements here, and you'll see this is a 29 element. It's made out of better metal. It doesn't just have more elements. Now, when you're looking at these, you don't just look at the element. By the way, if the element's bad... You'll have no overdrive, no drive, but you'll still have second and first and reverse. But you can also have damage to the hub here. So you'll want to look at your hub and make sure you don't have any damage. And look at your races. This outer race, get it where you can see, it has little indentations here where the sprag was sticking. This inner race, you can see it's dug in all the way around here where the sprag was slipping. That's what causes your no overdrive and no drive. Now, I have drove these that were slipping like this, and they still have drive and no overdrive. So it can happen. Now, 97 and later, they went to this, which is essentially the same sprag as the 95 and later, with the 29 element and the better metal. They just have these little tangs here that hold the sun gear in place. Right there's one of the tangs. But there's no sense in trying to retrofit to this. Because all it does is hold the sun gear on there. What you really want is this 29 element. And you can put it in any of these. I would prefer the one with the lube dam and the 29 element. Especially if you have to, have to replace the races anyway. But no matter what you do, use the 29 element, which is 95 and later. That way you get the best sprag and the best metal. Till next week, get off the couch and get dirty. Don't forget to share our videos. Sharing is caring.